Welcome to the third part of this Cura tutorial. In the last part we covered how to move, scale and rotate an object in Cura, as well as how the views work. In this tutorial we are going to be covering the infill and some advanced settings in Cura. Now the first thing that's very important is that we have helper parts turned on. This includes the bed adhesion, adhesion and the print support structure. These are the raft and the supports that are holding up the model if it is not touching the bed. Now the first thing we're going to look at is the different types of infill. Most models won't need anything more than 20% infill. This just gives the model a little bit extra strength. However, by turning the infill up it does increase the print time. You have four options as basic setup. You have hollow, light, dense and solid. I'm just going to show you dense to show you a different comparison between this 20% light infill and a 50% dense infill. The slicing will take some time and it will also increase the amount of material needed and the amount of time it will take to print. So if you're looking for fast prints, go for a light infill. There we go. As you can see, the print time has gone up by two hours and the amount of material has gone up. The next thing we're going to look at is some of the advanced settings. The first setting we're going to look at is quality. In quality, we have layer height. Layer height is how much the 3D printer is going to go up every layer. In this case it's 0.1, so that's quite a detailed layer height. However, if you have a nozzle that is smaller than that layer height, you may have problems uh, printing as there won't be enough material coming out to make the layer solid so you'll have skipping in the layers. If you go into profile up here and look at the different qualities, as you turn the quality up the layer height will also go down. However I recommend generally a 0.1 layer height for a nice print. Next thing we're going to look at is shell. Shell is the thickness of the wall, the out, the uh, outer layer of print. So when the machine prints, it goes all the way around the outside and then starts filling in the infill. The wall thickness on this model is 0.8. We want to make your stronger your wall stronger. All you have to do is increase this number. That would mean that the uh, printer will go around again to make the wall stronger. However, I generally keep my default as I don't, haven't seemed to have any problems with it so far. The next thing we're going to be looking at is infill, which we've just covered in simple, but here's a little more detail in it. You can now increase this or decrease this by the numbers. So I could put 15%, 75%, so you get a more accurate percentage of how much infill you're getting inside the model. And finally for this video, material. Now material is material setup is very important. If your plastic gets too hot, you'll get warping. If it's too cold, it'll have problems sticking together. So for PLA, which is what I'm printing this foot in, between 190 degrees and around 230 is generally a good temperature for different types of PLA. However, for different plastics, there will be a recommendation on the filament about what temperature you should be printing at. For PLA, you don't need a heated bed. However, I have mine on just for some added adhesion. I keep mine at the default 60 degrees. I find that 
if I put it at 70 degrees, I start getting problems with the PLA at warping at the bottom. However, that might differ from person to person. The diameter is the diameter of the filament that you'll be using. On the printer I'm using, the diameter is 1.75. However, you can also get 3mm filament. So it's very important that that number is correct. Flow is 100%. Flow is the amount of material extruded, so I want this value to be 100. And retraction. Retraction is when the when the printer head is moving over an area, and for example, if you had two poles and your printer was traveling between them. If your printer just travels without retracting, you get what we call stringing, where hot plastic drips from the nozzle and you get little wisps of plastic all over your model. These can be chopped off afterwards, however retracting retracts some of the filament before the print head moves over the open space, giving you less chance of stringing. However, this will increase your print time. This is the end of this tutorial. Hope to see you in the next one.